What? You've never had gochujang caramel cookies before? Ooh, boy, oh boy, you're missing out, my friends. Gochujang caramel cookie recipe was developed by Eric Kim, food writer for New York Times Cooking, and he's actually my cousin. <laughs> I'm kidding, he's not. He has no idea who I am. <laughs> It's a delicious cookie recipe that everyone raves about. I'm gonna add a twist to it by adding real chunks of caramel and using pure gochujang. We're not gonna add anything to the gochujang so that you can really taste the essence of that spicy kick at the back of your mouth. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> what? Gochujang caramel ice cream sandwich? No way. Yes way. <laughs> Watch to the end because I'm going to show you how to make this ice cream sandwich without breaking your pretty gochujang caramel cookie. 오늘의 레시피 아주 간단하면서도 고급스러운 고추장 카라멜 쿠키 만들기. 오늘도 여러분들과 영어로 함께 하겠습니다. Hi everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper. 안녕하세요, Modern Pepper의 Helen입니다. The ingredient list is also available in the description box below. Before we get started on anything, I need you to take out one stick of butter, that's about half a cup, and bring it to room temperature. Let it sit out on your kitchen counter for at least one hour. And also bring your one egg to room temperature as well. We need one cup of your all-purpose wheat flour. You could sift this if you want to, but I'm not going to. And to this, we're gonna add half a teaspoon of salt. Sea salt or kosher salt will be great. And we need half a teaspoon of baking soda. Then I want you to just mix this up and then put this to the side for a second. We're gonna add one large egg. Then we're gonna whisk our egg. Then to this, we're gonna add your finest vanilla extract that you can get. We're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then mix it again. Then to this, we're gonna add half a cup of brown sugar. And we need one third cup of granulated sugar. Then I want you to mix everything up again. Ooh la la. <laughs> Then we're gonna add our room temperature butter, one stick. What is really, really important is using butter that is the most yellow in color. You want that to be bright yellow. And then I just want you to mix everything up. Once the butter is kind of broken into smaller pieces like this, then I want you to go in and just whip it. It's a bit of a workout, but you know, it's all worth it because you're gonna be consuming lots of delicious calories. And of course, if you have a stand mixer, you could do the fancy way. The butter does not have to be super smooth. I like little clusters of butter when I make my cookies because when it bakes, oh yes. Do I need to explain? So at this point, slowly add our flour mixture to our egg and sugar mixture. Scrape off everything from the whisk. You could give this to your favorite child to lick on. <laughs> then go in and mix more until everything is incorporated and it looks like a cookie dough. Once your cookie dough looks like this, then it should be thick, nice and thick. And then we're just gonna cover this for now while we cut up our caramel candy chunks. So I'm using soft caramel chew candies that you can find at your local grocery store or drugstore, and they are soft and chewy. Now, if you don't wanna cut up your soft caramel chew candies, you could use Heath Bar uh, English toffee bits instead. So just cut them into small pieces like so. And we need about half a cup of these small little soft caramel chew candy pieces they stick well together. So I just want you to add a few, just a little bit at a time like this. And then I want you to fold it over like that. And then add more. So if you're using the English toffee uh, bits, add half a cup of that instead. Again, kind of mix it, fold it over. And then we're gonna add the rest right here. Again, fold it over. Look at our chunky caramel cookie dough. Now, for those of you that don't want to make the actual cookie dough, go to your local supermarket and just buy one of those pre-made cookie doughs and that'll work as well. 
pat down our dough like that. Pat it down, pat it down like that. And then we're gonna take your plastic wrap and cover it like so. And then we're gonna put this in the fridge for 30 minutes so it gets nice and cold. And yes, you could freeze your dough and use it at a later time if you need to. So while our cookie dough is resting in the fridge, I wanna quickly talk to you about gochujang for my friends that are not familiar with what gochujang is. It's fermented red pepper paste that has been fermented for at least one year at a minimum. Gochujang in its pure form is thick, it is salty, it has that spicy kick, but it's not super spicy. At best, I think it's at medium level spicy, and it is not sweet. If you go to your local supermarket and you see these squeezable gochujang bottles, those tend to be sweet because they add sugar, they add other ingredients to make it more into a you know condiment that you could have with many different dishes. Today, we are using the pure gochujang paste. It comes in a tub like this in different sizes. When you bring it home, just keep it in the fridge as you eat through it. If you've ever had really good brownies with sea salt on top, just adds a nice surprise of salty taste in the background. And we're doing that with our caramel cookie where you bite into your cookie and you're gonna get that little hint of pure gochujang, spicy, salty taste in the background and you're just gonna be like, whoa, what a nice surprise. So for our recipe today, we need literally less than half a tablespoon of your gochujang. And if you wanna learn more about gochujang, I have two videos that you could check out and they will be linked in the description box below. Now make sure to preheat your oven to 375. It's been 30 minutes and our cookie dough is nice and cold. Perfect. Quickly get these on the baking sheet. So for like a medium to large size cookie, I would use an ice cream scooper and lay it down. Once you have your scoops of cookie laid on your baking sheet, what I want you to do is take your chopstick, fork or knife. We just want a little bit of our gochujang, just a little bit. So then I want you to add it to your top like that. And then what you wanna do is kind of bring it down to the sides like this. So as it bakes, it's gonna spread and do its magic. So you don't have to spread it all around. Try this out and you might wanna add more gochujang or less depending on your preference. So it's really important to do this quickly because we wanna make sure that our cookie dough is still nice and cold when it goes into our hot oven. Okay, looks good. At 375, preheated, we're gonna bake these guys for 12 minutes or until the edge looks slightly golden brown. All right, our first batch has been in there for 12 minutes. So this guy's ready to come out. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> what I need you to do is quickly transfer the whole sheet to a cooling rack and let it just hang out here. Because if you let it sit on this hot baking sheet, the bottom might get brown and that's like the worst, right? Let these guys rest for at least 10 minutes before you start eating them. For the second half of the batch, we're gonna shape them into round balls so that they have a more uniformed round cookie circles. So you wanna put your cookie in your hand and just quickly shape them into a round ball, like so. And then you place it on your sheet. Then you wanna quickly add your swirl of gochujang paste on top, like so. Here it is. So this first row right here is the second batch where we rolled up the cookie dough into round balls. But my favorite is the first batch that we made where we just scooped and dumped on the baking sheet. You see this nugget of caramel that's oozing out of the cookie? OMG, let me tell you. And look at the back. You see that? <laughs> I don't need to explain to you. The ugly, misshapen cookies, in my opinion, are the tastiest ever. <laughs> Our gochujang caramel cookies are here. I'm doing a dance. <laughs> I will go for the one that has the most of these like 
brown nuggets of caramel goodness that was just like sticking out. They're not the prettiest looking cookies, but they're so good. So I would first eat this part first, the brown nugget of caramel. Mm -hmm. It's like a little candy treat. And then you break it in half, and then you sniff it, <laughs> and then you go in for a bite. Mm, mm, mm. When you bite into it, it has this chewy texture because of the caramel chunks that we added in here. In the back of my mouth, I taste a little bit of that heat, just a little. So it's a wonderful surprise. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. You, you got to make this. It's so good. I mean, some black coffee in the afternoon with some gochujang caramel cookies. It's a pretty good combination. I want you to place your ice cream on a plastic wrap, fold it up like this, and then twist it like that, right? And get the cookie that you're going to use. So we want to press this down so that it fits the width of your cookie. So you can make the cookies into mini shape too. Then put the ice cream right on top of it. Then take your other cookie, press it down. I mean, I can't even speak right now. You want a bite of this, you do, trust me. I mean, what is there not to like about ice cream sandwiches? And this one is exceptional. Like the caramel crunch, and then a little bit of that gochujang heat in the back, and then the vanilla ice cream is just so soothing and so delicious. Mm. Mm. If you're having a party at home, or if you just want to be nice to your kids, I will make a bunch of these, wrap them up two, three times, keep them in the freezer, and take them out and serve them to your guests when they come over, or just give it to your favorite people only. <laughs> I mean, if I could feed you, I would. I'll take a bite for all of us, okay? Just to make sure it's good. Mm. I want to wish you a safe and fun holiday season with your friends and family, making loads and loads of gochujang caramel cookies together, and I will see you in the new year. I want to thank you for watching today, and if you enjoyed watching today's video, I want to kindly, kindly ask you to click on that thumbs up icon and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you have not done so. And if you want to learn more about Korean recipes, make sure to go to youtube.com slash modern pepper, and I will see you there. 여러분 오늘 재밌게 보셨으면 꼭 좋아하는 버튼과 구독 버튼 좀 눌러주세요. 다음 영상에서 꼭 뵙겠습니다. 감사합니다. All right, folks, I will see you in one of the videos you see right here.